Hello everyone. Hello, welcome to my channel, Rat Trappers Tips. Greg Ross is me. It's the 28th of March, 2023. So, one of my regular customers, he's been a customer of mine for, <clears throat> for about five years now. He leaves this garage, it's a huge garage, three cars, it's always open. He hasn't got time to deal with it. He just leaves the door open and the rats come in here. And the mice come in here, I've already taken a few mice out of these traps here. So I've got, what I do is I keep one rat trap set there, one rat trap set over there, and a couple of mouse traps here. And then other rat traps over here. And the owner of this property told me just minutes ago that he heard one of the traps rattling in here and uh, I've only just checked it about a week ago but he said he was here two days ago and heard one of the traps rattling I didn't have time he didn't have time to deal with it and sure enough we've got a rat in the trap and it's not just in one of the rat traps it's in the mouse trap so this rat this rat got caught in one of my modified mouse traps with the three spikes in it. And this rat is dead. And it's quite a big rat. So he's tangled up the he's tangled up the two rat traps as he died. And fortunately I put an anchor cord on these. I usually put an anchor cord on these modified mouse traps with the three spikes in them. And as I've said before, these particular mouse traps, you get them at the dollar store in a packet of four, four for a dollar. And they are slightly more powerful than the Victor mouse traps. Because the Victor mouse traps only have one spring, whereas these what guys, they have two springs, one on each side of the bait plate. And I kill about six, seven rats a year in these little mouse traps. I've never killed a rat in a Victor mouse trap, but in these dollar store mouse traps, I regularly kill about six or seven rats per year. And this guy is nicely spiked on two of the spikes, and he's really tangled up these rat traps. So I'll have to uh, untangle them all, rebait them, reset them, but. Uh, I love those mouse traps that kill a rat. It's a really nice bonus when you see one of these mouse traps with a dead rat in it. It's cool because they serve two purposes. We get a lot of mice in this garage. It's wide open. They come in here and the reason we like to catch them in here is because we catch them in here and then they don't get across to the house. Okay, so and I catch probably, you know, some years I'll catch as many as 16 rats in this garage right at these traps. So we've worked out that these are the hot spots in the garage. Took me about a year of trapping here to work out that this corner, this back corner, is where all the rats and all the mice flock to. And uh, so this is where I keep two, four rat traps and about you know four mouse traps. Okay, so I'm happy. The owner's happy, and we'll rebate these traps and come back probably in about two weeks and uh, see what we got. I also keep traps under the house um, and that way since he's employed me to trap he's never had any rats or mice in the house for the past five years. Uh, I catch them all under the house and in the garage here and it's an old house and he hasn't got the time or the money or he doesn't want the invasion of doing all the exclusion work necessary would cost probably ten thousand dollars to do it and even then it might not work so let's just put some traps here and check them every few weeks depending on the rat traffic in the summer I won't I won't check these traps for three months maybe four months at a, at a stretch okay so thanks for your support thanks for watching thanks for liking and thanks for subscribing and thanks for buying my book the rat trappers handbook because it's worth its weight worth its price if it, if it catches if it helps you catch just two or three rats 
um, then it's going to earn its its keep. Okay, good trapping, everyone.